Felix Silla, cousin it on the Adams family dies at 84 he also played a robot on Buck Rogers in the 25th century, and a villain battling Sam Spade Jr. in The Blackbird. Felix Silla, who worked inside a body-length hairpiece, behind a pair of sunglasses and underneath a bowler hat in his guise as the mumbling cousin it on the 1960s ABC comedy The Adams Family, has died he was 84 Silla, a longtime Las Vegas resident, died Friday after a battle with pancreatic cancer. His friend Gil Gerard, his co-star on the 1979-81 NBC series Buck Rogers in the 25th century, reported on Twitter Silla's face went unseen on the Adams family as the robot sidekick Dwight on Buck Rogers, and when he was a hang gliding Ewok in Star Wars. Episode 6 Return of the GD, 1983. And in a notable role where he could actually be recognized, the Italian actor and stuntman shaved his head. To portray the maniacal villain lit back opposite George Siegel as Sam Spade Jr. in the Maltese Falcon sequel The Blackbird, 1975 A hair under 4 feet tall and weighing 70 pounds, Scylla showed up for the first time on The Addams Family in 1965, in the series's 20th episode, when a zookeeper mistakes cousin it for an exotic animal and wants to put him in a cage. The character was the idea of a producer and was not in the Charles Adams cartoons on which the series was based, and cousin it's voice on the show was provided by sound engineer Tony Magro in post-production. In a 2014 interview with the Los Angeles Times, Scylla noted that his shaggy costume was originally made out of real human hair which made it rather heavy and combustible, to dot all the guys on the set smoked, he said. They just dropped their butts and stepped on them. The producers worried that I might step on a smoldering cigarette and go up in flames. They gave me synthetic hair, which was flame retardant. Silla played cousin it 17 times on the show, which lasted just two seasons, but has lived on for decades in reruns and syndication. Born in Rakakasale, Italy, on January 11, 1937, Silla came to the US in 1955. He toured for about seven years with the Ringling Bros. And Barnum and Bailey Circus he was a trapeze artist and tumbler and could ride bareback before staying put in Hollywood as a stuntman in 1962. A year later, he worked in the gig young Shirley Jones comedy film A Ticklish Affair and appeared on the Bonanza episode Toss and the Leprechauns, and in 1965, he was in The Cage, the 1965 first pilot for Star Trek.